So today we're going to learn about how to record the proper measurement using a caliper. So a caliper is this device here. It has two parts. It has a ruler part or the caliper itself which is shown here with two units of measurements. On top is inch, on the bottom is centimeter. And then another unique portion of the caliper is it has a movable part with a small insert of a ruler that goes from 0 to 10. And so the first thing we do is securely fasten our object to the caliper by squeezing this caliper's arms around the object. Now we're ready to record the measurement for our object. Now if we zoom in, and I apologize for the low quality of the ruler. So you see we look at the first mark on the movable part of the caliper, the long mark, the initial zero mark here and we see which line on the caliper itself does it line up to or is close to. And if you look here, it's hard to see, but the long line, the initial mark on the movable caliper lines up a little bit after 2.5 on the caliper itself. So we know our first two digits are 2.5. Then we come and we look for the, the next digit, the hundreds place. We see which one of these dashes or marks on the movable part of the ruler lines up the best with a mark on the caliper's ruler. And so if we look, it's kind of hard to see, but the first mark here lines up perfectly with the mark on the caliper. So that tells us that the next digit is one. So our official measurement on the caliper is 2.51 centimeters. And so that's how you use a caliper in order to record the proper measurement.